decide on the toss. This is how Tivoli Gardens will shape up. They will be playing a 3-4-3 as usual under Jerome Waite. Diogo Houghton, as he said, between the sticks. Odin Pennicook, the captain. Richard Brown, the big defender, is in. Nelson Lewis Price Dunn, who had 14 goals the league's leading goal scorer, Justin Dunn. Nathan Thomas, they call him Kante. Uh, Lennox Russell, Nikolai Fuller, and Shaquille Jones. Unchanged apart from Diego Houghton from their last win, which was a 6-3 beating of Malines United. Harbour View have shuffled their pack quite a bit generally. Romario Palma between the sticks. They'll be playing with a 4-4-2 formation today. Brecon Brackenridge and Stewart, they've formed a good partnership in the defence line. Okima Jones, the talented right back, is there. Kasim Priest with solidify things in the middle. Demar Rose was amongst the goals yet again last time out. So too was Joshua Anglin. He's a real talented midfielder. Look out for him. Andre Fagan will lead the line there, number 10, along with the young Trey Bennett. FIFA official Akita Nicholson, the man with the whistle, and Joshua Anglin stinging the palms of Diego Houghton very early. Good technique. And Houghton <laughs> just bundled over. You see a lot of movement, Houghton, and he pushed it behind for a corner. This was the moment for Tivoli Garden. Palma got it all wrong. Nelson didn't allow him to settle. And that was brilliant timing, brilliant finesse. And a lovely finish from Tivoli's number 11. His second of the season. And after just seven minutes, Tivoli were ahead. Ludlow Bernard has been frustrated from his goalkeepers, by his goalkeepers this season. Palma, David Martin, Anthony Bennett and company. Glenroy Samuel as well have had too many off days for his liking and it cost them yet again. This was another one put in. Again, Palmer made a meal of it and luckily for him, Alton Lewis was a little late with the slide. A good turn from Andre Fagan, but he couldn't get it on target. It was another goalless performance for him and how of you who constantly were looking to play out of the back got themselves in trouble quite a few times. This should have been hit on the volley from Nikolai Fuller. He decided to bring it down for Alton Lewis who couldn't find his shot on target. Then Fuller driving into the air, taking a strike of his own wide of the upright. Into the second half and Harborview finally got their deliveries right. Look at that ball for Gar Stewart. Should have scored. Didn't even need to jump Gar Stewart. Headed over the top instead of heading down. And that should have just have been steered into the back of the net. This was another chance that Thompson was just a little bit late. But give credit to Alton Lewis. His challenge was timed to perfection. Out for a corner. And frustration for Lord Bernard. He could only smile at how close he had come. Kimali Smith off the bench. Had scored in December against Harborview in the 3-0 win. Came close. But the 1-0 scoreline was enough. Just one goal in it. Seven shots on target from 15th attempts for Tivoli. How of you, they had their moments. Three shots on target from 11. 32 field fouls in the game spread evenly. There were four yellow cards shown by Okita Nicholson. How of you picking up three of them, the likes of Anglin, Brown and Rose. The recipient and well yeah penny cook the lone recipient for tivoli gardens majority of the saves for harbour views romario palma six of them but the crucial mistake gifting the goal to tivoli gardens who take a big three points at the end of match week 24. our man of the match is a man they call kante nathan thomas yeah nathan thomas today's man of the match another tireless performance by you that's your staple at this point what do you make of it um I'm just trying to make the best of everything. I mean, opportunity come once. So, um, Mr. Waite have given me the opportunity. So, why not take it? And you know, you have a really important role at the base of midfield, but you also step up a lot, you know, a lot of man marking duties. Is that just something that comes naturally to you? Yes, I mean, um, I've been the hard working type a long time. Um, I, I've done it in Manning Cup now. I'm trying to just step it up in the Premier League and just showcase my talent to the world. And who knows? And you mentioned Manning Cup, you've already led a team to Manning Cup glory. Is that something that you're looking to do with the Stivoli Gardens yes, team definitely. also? Yes, um, 
I mean, Nathan Thomas is the type of hard work, never give up play. Um, you see the game, um, I know I've, I've got beaten a lot of times, but I just recover and just working you know, hard because that, uh, um, that's the focus to bring us forward in this JPL. And I'm definitely trying to secure this JPL. I mean, it's been a while the last time we have won the JPL. I think I was a kid back in 2010, I was around 10, 11 watching and ball boy. So now it's my time. And a lot of youngsters watching Nathan Thomas, and I'm just trying to set an example. Um, but also, my, my little nephew growing up, so I'm just trying to be his role man and take Tivoli to another, another Premier League. Well, it was an excellent performance by you today. Keep it up and best of luck for the rest of the season. Yes, thanks. Um, I just want to say um, uh, thanks to Tivoli fans for continuous support. We love you. Um, just keep supporting us. We really, really love you. The community, we're going to do it this season. Just continue to support us. That's all I have to say to the fans. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, Nathan Thomas there. Excellent performance as per usual.